Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have seen the Boyle's law, that is the one of the gas laws and which relates to your, that is the pressure and uh, your volumes, that is the pressure is inversely proportional to your volume. So guys, over here in this video, we will see the next gas law, which is nothing but your Charles law. So this particular Charles law is related to your volume and temperature as the temperature increases there will be the in increase in your volume of the gas so basically this is the second gas law that is nothing but the charles law so guys welcome back to my another video of engineers academy and myself narendra and you're watching the playlist of thermodynamics so guys in this playlist you will be able to understand the different kinds of the laws and different kinds of the chapters which is related to the thermodynamics so guys uh, if you are new to my channel just do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy and guys please hit the bell icon also so guys without wasting any time let's begin with today's topic that is of the second uh, law in gas laws that is of your child's law so guys this particular charles law is invented by mr jakes charles and he was a he was a french mathematician inventor scientist and also he was a balloonist also he used to take rides in hot air balloons so basically he just observed that if we increase the temperature of the gas you know you know uh, the volume or the you know that that particular balloon looks bigger it means the volume inside the, the uh, that particular balloon increases if we increase the temperature but over here the pressure remains constant so guys this is you know uh, this leads to the derivation of this particular charles law so basically charles law states that if in a gases like if we increase the temperature the gas expands the volume also increase it means the temperature is directly proportional to your volume or its volume is directly proportional to your temperature by keeping the rest of the terms that is the rest of the pressure the amount of the gas constant the pressure remains constant over here so that is nothing but the charles law so guys once again this charles law states that this particular volume is directly proportional to your temperature so over here this particular equation becomes your v is equals to t but over here v is equals to k into t so over here k is the constant of proportionality over here which is used to carry out this uh, like the relationship between the two stages so as uh, you know this uh, temperature increases the volume also increases so that's why you know this particular relationship is constant the graph will be like this the graph will be linear over here in this case so that's why over here this the equation will be like v1 is equals to k into t1 so by let's move that t1 on the left hand side you will get this v1 divided by t1 is equals to k so guys that is the equation for a particular given stage so unlike uh, just the previous Boyle's law over here this charles law is used to uh, compare the two different stages suppose i am having a balloon which is having an initial pressure initial pressure is the constant uh, suppose i am having a balloon which is having initial volume and initial temperature at stage one suppose if i increase the temperature the volume will also increase so that will be the stage two so guys this particular ball uh, so guys this particular charles law is used to determine this volume and uh, temperature at this given two particular stages only so that's why over here in that case your equation will be like this this v1 uh, by t1 is equals to v2 by t2 is equals to k so that will be your equation which is used to uh, calculate this uh, uh, the volume and the temperature at two different stages only so guys you have to understand that over here the graph is linear as the temperature increases so the volume also increases by keeping this pressure constant by keeping the pressure the amount of the gas that is nothing but the number of moles in the gas that is that is also remains constant over here so this is nothing but the charles law so guys now let's take one example of this charles law suppose i am having a balloon which is having a volume of 50 meters cube and having uh, and this particular volume is at the temperature of 50 degrees celsius and like if we increase the temperature up to the 80 degrees celsius then what will be the volume inside that particular balloon 
so let's check out the what are the variables we have uh, what are the you know what are the terms we got over here so that is the initial volume that is nothing but the 50 meters cube the initial temperature is nothing but the 50 degrees celsius but over here in thermodynamics where will be, uh, you have to you have to convert that temperature into kelvin uh, kelvin is equals to degree celsius plus 273.15 so your t1 let's convert this t1 and t2 into degree kelvins so over here this particular 50 degree will be your uh, your 323.15 that is of into degree kelvin and the last one that is the 80 degrees that is that will be your 353.15 degree kelvins so now let's apply this particular charge law to your equation so your equation will be of the uh, v1 by t1 is equals to v2 by t2 so over here v1 is that is 50 divided by the t1 that is 323.15 is equals to v2 that is the final volume which is not uh, not known which is uh, which we need to find over here and uh, divided by this uh, t2 so t2 is nothing but your 353 point uh, 353.15 so after solving this particular problem uh, we'll get a value of v2 as 54.64 so that is you know that is the final volume after increasing the temperature from 50 degrees celsius to 80 degrees celsius so guys that was basically charles law which is related to your volume and temperature so by keeping the pressure constant so guys in our next video we will check out the gay lussac's law which is related to your uh, pressure and temperature basically so guys i hope you understood this particular uh, charles law so guys if you having any doubts any queries you can comment below also guys just give a like give a thumbs up to my this video also so that your like will really motivates me to make more of such educational videos so guys also guys please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy so guys thank you so much for watching this video